To reduce fractions, we look for a common factor between the numerator and the denominator, and we divide both top and bottom by that common factor. We would like to use the greatest common factor. Well, the factors of 18 include 6, and so do the factors of 24. 6 is the greatest common factor of 18 and 24. So if we divide both of them by 6, we end up with 3 over 4 and our fraction is reduced. What if we don't realize 6 is the greatest common factor, but we still come up with a common factor? What if we think, oh, 3, 3 is a factor of both 18 and 24? Well, we will divide both top and bottom by 3, and we will get 6 over 8. But we will have a fraction that is not completely reduced. We have to realize, well, 6 and 8 have a common factor of 2. We're not finished. We have to divide both top and bottom by 2, and we end up with 3 over 4. The same correct answer we had the first time. Either method is just as good, so long as you realize you have to keep going until you have reduced the fraction as far as it can be reduced. Let's try it with this one. 8 and 10 have a common factor of 2. If we divide both top and bottom by 2, we get 4 fifths. Since 2 is the only common factor of 8 and 10, there is no second method that will work. No matter what will happen, we will get 4 fifths. 